Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Well, today is September the 18th, 2019. Welcome to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. Our focus is don't give up during the purging process. Don't give up during the purging process. Don't give up. I have a design for your life. <coughs> I have a plan for your life. Don't throw in the tower. Because God has a plan for your life. Don't give up. You're almost there. Just know that Jehovah Shama, he's right there with you. Some of you have walked away from God. But God never walked away from you. So don't give up and don't give in. Don't faint in this hour. Because of the purging process, look at the prodigal son. He received his inheritance. And he went out and he lost everything. And then he went through the purging process. He had to go and work. He found himself eating with the swines. He saw himself at a low state. And then he came to his right mind. That he was better off back at home. With his father. With his heavenly father. Why don't you come back home to your heavenly father? He has a ring for you. He has a coat for you. He'll have a celebration for you. He's beckoning you to come back because you are passing now the purging process. All you have to do is turn around and repent, turn around and come back to the Father. This prodigal son could have given up, but he turned back and went back to his father's house. Some people going to be jealous when you come back to your father's house. But don't worry about them. This is a personal walk. Don't give up in this hour. Don't faint in this hour. During the purging process. God wants to purge you. He wants to clean you up. He wants to use you as his instrument in the earth. Oh, this light affliction that is coming. It's just going to last for a season. Don't give up. You're wondering why is this coming 
up against you. Why is this happening to you? Lord, I'm a servant. I'm a child of God. Why are these things happening? Lord, I thank you. I'm turning unto you, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. Lord, whatever you want to do, I'm ready now. I'm stop fighting. That I may go through and come out as an instrument for the use of the Lord. For every good work, be not weary in well doing, because you will reap a harvest if you faint not. Don't give up, don't faint in this hour because God has a plan for your life he have designed a special plan for you don't give up and don't give in so don't give up and don't give in this hour don't throw in the tower don't commit suicide don't get into a spirit of depression because God loves you. Don't give up doing this purging process. This is the way that I have designed for you and I am taking you through the purging process. God will take you by the hand. You may not see God there. Look at Joseph. Joseph was in the hand of the Lord. He was put in the pit. He was chased by a woman. But the hand of the Lord was upon Joseph. He was put in prison. And he was taken out of prison. And he became in charge of Pharaoh's affairs. He Come on. You can make it through this process. Taking you through the purging process. Don't look at no one else. What they're going through. Unless you're praying for them. Know that God is going to take you through the purging process. Because he wants to use you in this hour. Because he has a plan for your life. He designed a plan for your life. So don't give up in this hour. Well, let's go to Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6. In the name of Jesus, I thank God for the plan. Hallelujah for the plan of God. Hallelujah that we can make it. I can make it. You can make it. Don't give up. Don't give in. You know, many give up because they feel like they're all alone. But you're not alone, honey. You're not alone. Hallelujah. If someone made it through, you can make it through as well. Okay, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Don't give up. Don't faint in this hour. Just go through the process. Don't faint. Don't give in. The reason why we faint is because we sow in the flesh. Come out of the flesh. Come out of the flesh and sow in the spirit. Well, you say, well, I have all these problems. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know this. I don't know that. Well, come out of the flesh because if you sow in the flesh, you're going to reap the flesh. But if you sow in the spirit, you're going to reap everlasting life. You're going to reap spiritual things. Sow in the spirit. Take the word and sow in the spirit. Put it on your mouth and speak the word that you may reap 
life everlasting. If you sow in the spirit, but if you sow in the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. So this is why we think, we think because we're sowing in the flesh. Come out of the flesh and begin to sow in the spirit. And then we turn to John chapter 15. John chapter 15. He says, John chapter 15, verse 1, I am the true vine, Christ, and my father is the husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Now look here, the father is saying today, hey, if the tree is not bringing forth no fruit, if the, true, if the tree is not going to bear any fruit, the father is going to take the tree away. So don't get stuck in sowing in the flesh when you ain't bringing forth no fruit. And he said here that the father, he taketh away that branch which bear not fruit. But every branch that bear fruit, he purges it. So this is why you're going through the purging process so you can bring forth much more fruit. He wants you to go through the purging process. Don't give up. Don't give in that you may bring forth more fruit. I thank God that we can bring forth more fruit now. And then, let's turn to Isaiah 54. We're not going to give up because we know that we're going through a process. Yeah, it was painful. You Don't you know when a woman have a baby, it's painful? Some Some have a baby and it's painful, but once the baby is born, everybody is happy. Even the woman is happy. She forget the pain. And so, the process, you go through the process, travail to the process, and you can make it. Stay out of the flesh. Stay out of the flesh. Leonard, stay out of the flesh. And so in the spirit. Okay, in Isaiah 54, 16, behold, I have created the smith and bloweth the coals in the fire. Now, God is the one that created the smith, that he may bring forth an instrument. See, God wants to bring forth an instrument out of you. You are his instrument in this hour for his work. He wants you, he wants your members, he wants your members to be an instrument of good use. So he says that, that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So it is God is getting you ready for something great. So don't give up during the purging process. Thank you for listening to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. God bless you.